So what I'm proposing is that I do the surgery myself for free, and that my brother and I incur the rest of the cost. How could we ever repay you? Nothing. Yeah, maybe invite us to Christmas dinner. <laughs> Don't tell the missus. She ain't much of a cook. That's how I ended up in here. To make matters worse, the other kid was the one running around telling everybody what happened. Then when the police picked him up, he told them I was the one who pulled the trigger. So they cut him a deal. Then when they found that gun on my brother's dresser at my house, it was over for me. I was only 15 years old. They tried me as an adult and gave me a life sentence. You a non-believer? Well, I, I know your plight, John. We have workshops every week and bring in people just like you. And you know what? We help them find God and they are happy. What would you try to do? Get yourself locked up now? You know mom wouldn't like you doing out there doing no mess like that. Man, I ain't doing nothing. I told you I'm holding for somebody. My friend told me to hold it for him while he went somewhere and that's when you pulled up on me like some kind of detective or something. Call me a detective or whatever. But I gotta look out for you, whether you like it or not. You my responsibility. You ain't grown. Okay, okay. So, you tell me you don't take drugs, Donnie. You might as well tell me the truth, Donnie. I'm here to help you. What do you mean? Do you remember the words, these words, honor, duty, country? When we first signed up? Yeah. Did you ever think that's all we'd ever become? No. To society, we're ghosts. We do the same thing as other public servants. We risk our lives, covert ops, black ops, call it what you will, arose by any other name, I guess. Ghosts. 